There's various paths that I use here okay. uh, for different t slight shades of color saturation or grain. Like if it's a paint, then it's the it's the uh, the the shorter bandwidth color gradation or the density of the the paint. Yeah, I would say with the the density of the pigment. So on this board, typically for most of the life of the band i've used this rat here which is unfortunately i'm having a day off but um this is a yeah big box rat that i had a keely mod done in like 2000 and i've just always used the op amp setting on what, that thing what was that mod that you had keely do to it well he did the keely mod where he, he changed changed out some of the um electronics in okay. there and put it and uh, part of it was putting a op amp setting that um it's just a higher gain stage. And with the, the Travis Bean, so these pickups are like up to 1.5 volts. So it's quite a lot more than most guitars. Mm. So already with that, I mean, it's not- Coming in hot. Yeah, they're not active, but it's um, just the dynamic slope that you can get from the guitar alone. It's been the basis of my plan. <laughs> yeah. um, but with Sun, we're using, um, there's a lot more distortion effect and saturation effects. So, yeah, for years I was using this. And then, um, of course, we have the life pedal here, which is, this is the third iteration of it. I love Congrats using Congrats on this. that. That yeah, one just came great. out again, another, another round awesome. of those. That's a really awesome, also another awesome, like, collab with the, to work with that company yeah. and gear and stuff. It's great. Jamie and Julie and their whole family is a, a good, good people yeah, in Yeah, good people, totally. Um, and it's interesting, because then we have all these characters, too. The life pedal's character, the Model T's are characters. <laughs> the old, the old, older ones, uh, the first generation, the Super T here, you know, they all have stories too. These, this one was purchased from Eddie Van Halen's studio. Oh wow! We have, we have two that we bought from there. There's different st stories behind the, the amps. The Buddhas. Is the oh yeah. These two, um, yeah. So there's a lot of characters there. So the metaphor you were talking about about the band being bigger. Yeah, I mean, it's Greg and I playing duo guitar, yeah. but there's, there's a lot of uh, different um, spirits in the air there. And then I, I, I use a um, Swiss Things, also from Earthquaker, just as a, for two effect loops um, that I engage from time to time. And one is a goes to his Fuzzmaster, this uh, Cornish G2, and the, the Black Ash. Um, maybe they're not all on at the same time, but yeah. if I want to change that, yeah, that density of the pigment, you know, so to say. One of the ones that echo <coughs> and line that's goes to a 201, which okay. I, I love the, the collection of these. This one's from Ryan Rapper, our beloved um, uh, guitar tech. And then I also work a lot with the French company Auto machine so yeah. this is a bam it's the reverb i just got turned on to those via uh matt mitchell from pussifer he had a couple of those in his rig mm -hmm. and that was they're really cool yeah they're really diverse they seem really interactive too i was one of the first people who play guitar to use them uh -huh. i'm friends with dennis Cajou. uh i live in paris he that's where his shop is and stuff so he was ex I, I learned about these from mika vinyo from Pansonic, and okay. he had learned about them from um, sleazy from Throbbing Gristle. So the lineage of this, these um, came to the guitar later. It was mainly like electronic artists using these, but it's great. Analog circuit, digital control. So, um, yeah. and, the, and then on the rat, is that I'm sure based around the, you know, the legendary 308 chip that on, the, on the, the life pedal. Yeah. Okay, the life pedal. Mm -hmm. But that, that one too. Rat. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember exactly what the Keeley mod is, but I knew uh, several of the caps were changed. He basically changed out the shittier components. Components, yeah, at the time. But I, I'm not as Greg's really knowledgeable about all the components of this um, of rats. Uh, I, I don't really, I haven't really gone in that that Got much it. with this. More just like what is the result for me. So. And before we move on to Greg's setup, what is the the, the gray box here in between your tuner and the life pedal. Oh, that's an archer. It's a, oh, okay. It's a, yeah, a clone. Yeah, a clone. Clone. 
of the silver clone. And then these two uh, SVT stacks, how are they getting used? Okay, so those are also in the guitar chain. It's okay. a, it's not exactly biamping, but of course you have a, yeah, a very different power structure, uh -huh. um, which I guess um, fills out the low end a little bit more. But actually, it's a bit more of this like brutal sounding. Uh, probably a nod to our like fascination with death metal and stuff. Yeah. A bit more, but actually these stacks, one of these is a spare. Okay. But it goes through that, that channel is channel four for me, so it goes to the MTI, and then it's slaving th this VR, actually. So we're not using the preamp of the VR, but this is different uh, for us on this tour to use these Japanese uh, SVT. Oh, the cool. MTIs, right? Um, but the VRs are something I've used a lot. I mean, we have a, in Europe, we, we own a lot of vintage um, SVTs uh, in the band um, community. Yeah. Um, but here on tour, we, uh, we just rent the VRs, yeah. And then the last thing I want to touch on is the Aguilar pedal and then the pedal to its right that has the mm -hmm. numbers on it. Is that, is that like what you're alluding to is the amp switcher? Yeah, this is made, channels, I guess. This is uh, made by the guys at Bright Onion. I've worked with them for years. We've done we've done a lot of different routing switches um, with this band. Um, I first initiated with Gentry Dansley from uh, Eagle Twin. He built he was building us these um, switchers for a while. But I uh, I started working with Bright Onion to make a smaller one. So this this is uh, splits between four channels and it has phase control and ground lifts on each or three of the channels, so we can tune the back. It's all about tuning, too. You're tuning the signal with these, all the effects, but also tuning the amps, uh, keep things in phase is is fundamental thing. Yeah. The, for the, you know, the, the structure of the sound. And then real quick, the... Uh, the Aguilar is an optimizer. It's just kind of like a fun punctuation that <laughs> comes on once in a while, and it definitely... The way I hear it, it abstracts the guitar sound into something that's more like um, minimalist electronics, actually. <laughs> but it's fun to kick it in sometimes. It's not a main component for me, the way I use it. It's, oh, right. it's more like a punctuation at times.